Hello everybody, this is Mystic and welcome to my library. Today I am checking out a game called Waste Knots by Raspberry Games. And Waste Knots is a post-apocalyptic card slash dice game. Um, and like I said, it's by Raspberry Games. And I actually had a chance to play this in PAX East of 2019. So like pre-pandemic days. And I had a lot of fun checking it out. So I'm really excited to get to check it out now. Um, it's still, you know, very early on in development, but Raz has been doing some really good work getting it going. There is going to be a uh, Kickstarter for this game that, uh, as you can see, it's it's right there. Um, there's going to be a Kickstarter of this game, uh, and I believe the Kickstarter goes live on March 23rd, so tomorrow. And um, if you are interested after checking out this game, definitely go check out the Kickstarter as well. I'll be making sure to link that down below. Uh, so yeah, let's get started on the game. I did play through a little bit of the tutorial, but I did not get very far. I just kind of did a couple of things. Um, so we are going to jump into this and see how it goes. Back in the wastes, Andrea and Lucky Jack set out to find their lost friends. Oh, one other thing I forgot to mention. This is a one to four player co-op game. So you can play solo, you can play with other people, uh, kind of however you want. I'm currently playing it solo, but there is an option to play with other people if you desire. And this is available, or it will be available on Steam. Okay, Skylight is armed. We've got three days before pickup. What's the plan to find Lena and Buster? I've brought a friend, his name is Wide Eye. Huh? Don't ask. Like the Medgoop dispenser, ability cards aren't discarded when played. Scout ahead can be used at camp and it has the keyword exhaust, which means it can only be used once per day. Go ahead and play it. So to do that, I have to click on her. Her name is Andrea or Cecilia. I think her, I think she goes by Andrea though. So here, we'll pull that out. And basically the way you do this is you pull cards out to attack, actually, I'll show you how to attack in a minute, but it's pretty straightforward. Scout Ahead reveals the top th three cards of the deck and lets you put them back in any order. Look, it's Lena. Put her first, then the two bots after her, um, or after we find her. So yeah, the, the point of this is so that we find Lena first because she's injured, and then we can tackle the bots once we get her like safely out of their way. Lena, dead ahead. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's break camp. Characters can explore together or separately. I'm not eager to let Andrea out of my sights again, so let's explore together. On the right side of the screen is where we form parties to indicate how we plan to group up and in what order. Drag my portrait from the left side to box number one on the right. Okay. Here we go. When you add a character to the party, another space opens up in the, in the same party for another character. Add me to party number one, just like dra Jack, by dragging my portrait from the left to the right. Okay. Put you there. And I think we are good to start the day now. Gosh, you're slow. Whoops, that would be my phone. Sorry about that. Um, I thought you said Lena was right around the corner. She is, but come on, I usually get four cards, but because I'm stuck with you, I've got a measly two. You'll manage. So yeah, because he's only got a two movement, we can only play two cards this round. If she were solo, We'd be able to play four, but we can't do that right now. GG, Jack. Hey, didn't you craft some treads last time we were down here? Pieces of junk. They're good surface side, but rarely survive the journey home. Crafted gear only lasts a single session. Remember, you have to craft your gear every time you play. Okay, so we should... Yep, there's Lena. Ouch, Big Mama, you don't look so good. There's something out here. It's huge. It's terrifying even the scavs. Sounds like fun. Jack, she's she's bleeding everywhere. This doesn't seem like fun. I think I can make it back to camp. I'll meet you there. We still need to find Buster. Lead the way. Just remember, my scout ahead ability saw that the next card is a bot. Right. Which means we fight. This thing is wild. The key the ambush keyword means that a monster takes an action as soon as it's drawn. This one gained an extra heart the moment we saw it. Great. Okay. Gain zero to two. So now we we attack. It doesn't. I don't think it matters who. So as you see, um, let me just show you this. You you pull up the card and then you hold down your mouse button and then you drag it up 
to the enemy's card so that you can fight it. Pretty easy. Once the thing, once the arrow turns green, it means you attack. And she's got this adorable little like spider robot thing, which honestly I hate spiders, but that thing's really stinking cute. I what can I say? Good to have you back, Big Mama. If it's all the same to you, I'll skip the pleasantries until I've had a nap. Injuries can be healed by resting at camp. Assign my portrait to the campfire space to indicate I'll be staying behind. Okay, put you there. Don't forget to smash any robots you have at camp. Let's crack open that crackler we just fought. So we click gear. Um, yeah, and in order to do this, I this was explained in the first tutorial, but unfortunately I don't have access to that one now. Um, so you, you click the gear icon and then anytime you have a bot or something that you can scavenge in this hand, you throw it into the mech masher and you get some scrap for it. Yay. So we close that. Looks like my scout ahead card is operational again. Let's use scout ahead to see what we'll be up against. Okay. Go little spider dude. He wears like binoculars when he runs around. Why is he so stinking cute? Spiders are not allowed to be cute. Okay. Yep. So, oh, sorry. She said to put the scout party to the front. I just, I was trying to, I was, I was too busy saying that the little robot spider was cute. Okay. We don't have a lot of time before pickup. We need to cover more ground. Let's split up. Jack, you're first. I saw some nasties out there looking for trouble. To form separate parties, drag us to different rows on the right. Assign me to the first party here. Okay. Now me, since we're splitting up this time, put me in the second party. Hit ready when everyone is assigned. So you go there. Lena's going to stay here and rest. Okay. Parties take turns in the order they're assigned at camp. Andrea said there might be some monsters out here. And how I, how could I say no to some killing? Okay, so she gets, or he gets this. All right, which means I got to attack. Two. Okay. Pow. Now it's our turn again. Jack. No, you're gonna miss. Yeah, the red the red side means miss, by the way. At two injuries, my attack is halved. Only one die left. Better make it count. Oh boy. Okay, get him. Okay, add plus one attack. Dragging bots around is one thing, but if I haul these corpses to camp, someone's bound to ask questions. Better just look, better just loot the bodies here. I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do with this bit once I'm back at camp. Let's keep going because I don't know the meaning of self-restraint. No, no, we can't. You have one heart. Heart? Health? Hit point? Whatever. Jack, why are you like this? Oh boy. Okay, so I can't use the busted bit on anything. Oh, Jack. Come on, man. Look what happened. Rip. Three and I'm out. When a character is KO'd, they're immediately kicked from combat. Can't do anything until they spend a full night at camp. Oh, no. Okay. It is Andrea's turn now. So we click a card. That gives us some scrap. Click another card. More scrap. Uh, gain. All right, let's see. Scorched scab. You find a body half buried in the ground. It looks like it's been cooked. Not slow cooked, but like the, by the desert. Like your aunt's steamed ham. It's like someone or something set a flamethrower to it. You managed to scavenge 20 um, bits. Not sure what those are. I, I don't know anything about tools before moving on. If Andrea is in the party, she also finds a cog. Okay. Okay. One more. Oh boy. Okay. She does not have a lot of health, so this is gonna be interesting. Uh-oh, these guys mean business, but at least they're oh no wait, she does have a, a lot of health. I keep looking at, at the one thinking that's health, but that's not health. Um, but at least they're slow. I can get in an attack before they take their turn. Okay. Get them. Yeah, and unfortunately she's fast, but she only has one attack. So she can't do a whole lot there. Ouch, ouch, ouch. These scavs are going to hurt me every time, every turn they take. I need to take them down fast. Andrea is in trouble, but I can help even from camp. Switch to my my hand. Okay. Oh, okay. This is something I remember from playing this game at PAX East. Um, I remember her, like, she's kind of a bard, 
So if you're familiar with like D&D or even like Lord of the Rings Online, which is the kind of the one I was thinking of, the bard is like the character that can inspire party members and either like help their attack or make them have defense or something like that. So that's what Lena is able to do. Um, so let's use that and toss it onto Andrea. Where's that music coming from? Big Mama, is that you? I feel so inspired. No, wait. I feel violent. Now it's an even fight. Play my attack card to beat up these stinkers. Yeah, stinkers. Wait a minute. Do I have the right person out? No, I don't. That's why. Yeah, take that, stinkers. Get him, cute little spider robot. Okay, and then we get our last little resource, and these all get added on at camp. Cool. Any sign of Buster? No, but you know that he likes to take up advantage for uh, take up advantage for days at a time. I'm sure we'll find him soon. If you don't mind, I still have a few things I'd like to take care of before sunrise. First, it's important to note I'm best with an audience. Right click on my portrait to see why. Each of us has a character sheet tucked away back there. You can see more details about our damage, movement, and any extra abilities we might have. Okay, statuses, ability effects, and gear all show up in this sheet. It's a list of all things impacting each character in one handy place. So this is best with an audience, uh, plus one attack for every other party member. Okay, right click my portrait again to close the character sheet and let's finish our preparations. Okay. Oof, I think I cracked my, I, I think my ribs are cracked and my pride. KO'd characters must stay at camp to heal their injuries. Additionally, they can use any cards while they heal, including that busted bit that Jack found. Only one day left. You two better find Buster soon. My ability card is recharged and ready for use. Okay. Scout ahead is available every time I return to camp. Use it now to try and find Buster. So we go back to Andrea. Toss out the card. Okay. So we have a screaming scav which is an ambush. Same with this. What the, what's everyone running from? Let's set up Buster so we find him first. Okay, so we put Buster to the front. Hopefully we can grab him before he's trampled by scavs. Click confirm to set the order of the deck. Okay, Buster's out there, but something else is too. It's got a ton of scavs spooked. Let's stick together, child. Jack, will you be okay resting here by yourself? Never better. That's a lie. I can I can think of a few times I was better than this. After a good night's rest, I'm ready to fight. Assign me and Andrea to the first party and Jack to camp. Okay, so Jack, you go here. Lena. And Andrea, you go there. Now, Andrea is down a point, um, which actually also makes her a little bit slower. So we'll have to see how that goes. Oh, did I want to buy gear? I wonder if I should do any... Is it too late? No, I don't think it's too late. Let me try something. I want to actually get... Oh, they both only have one attack. Let's give this to... Andrea. Oh, it should... Does it automatically go to her? Yeah, I think it... Oh, it does. Okay. It says that she's got two now. Cool. All right. Now, what are the what are the other gears for? I don't see anything. I guess maybe I haven't learned what the gears are yet. Okay. But that'll give Andrea a little bit more a little bit more power. Plus, she can also sing at her to make her a little stronger as well. So that should be good. Okay. I found our target, but we're not ready. Let's get Skyride and we can recoup regroup. Skyside. Oh my god, I can't read. Not ready. I'm always ready. Let's go. Not today, kid. Just run. Okay. Um, He's fighting with us now? Terrified scav. Out of my way. It's gonna fry us all. We're gonna get trampled if we don't fight back. Then it's time to rock and roll. The summon keyword on a monster is a way for additional monsters to join the fight. We're dealing with two now. Oh boy. The top bar shows the turn order for everyone in combat. Summoned monsters join the round after they're summoned, so we've got a small window to attack. 
Use the arrows to the left and right of the scavs to cycle through them and choose a target. Hey, look, the terrified one's got a bigger bat. Monster actions are listed on their card. Uh, the little person means they'll attack. They'll only attack one of us, but a four means they'll hit us all. Oh boy. Okay. So this guy only has one health. We actually probably want to get rid of this guy first because he's going to hurt. Um, she goes first. Okay. So the scav doesn't, the scab doesn't go this turn, right? Attack order is us. And then that guy. Yeah. I think we'll be okay. I'm going to back up singer. Andrea. And then. I am going to. Wait. That's right. I wait, how come I can't end my turn? Does she still have something to do? Oh, I'm so silly. All right, hang on. So I used that. Okay. And then I use this. Hopefully we can get them down. Oh my God. That's great. Got that. And then Andrea should be able to go. And she's just going to annihilate this guy. Oh, no, never mind. She, <laughs> that was such a waste of a song. Okay, well, he's dead anyway. Okay. I think that's it for the, the turn, right? Yeah. There's a behemoth out here in the waste. Huge flamethrower, battery-powered repair system. We need to gear up. How much longer on the skylight? Your timing is impeccable, Buster. The Havala should be here tomorrow for our pickup. Those scavs seem out of their mind to get away from the behemoth. We're going to keep we're going to have to beat them back to keep them from climbing aboard. Promise. Before we fight, I wanted to use that busted bit I found earlier. Bits are upgrades to our attack cards and can be played at camp to make to gain an upgrade that lasts as long as we're surface side. They can only be obtained from monsters, so don't avoid combat if you're looking for them. And multiple, and yeah, multiples of the same kind don't stack. Oh, okay, go ahead and play the bit. Okay, so I have to click on Jack. And then I pull that out. Mods applied to my attacks can be seen directly on the attack card. Try to upgrade everyone's attack cards during each mission. Oh, so now he's a, he's a three. Make your final preparations now and hit boss when you're ready. Now, Okay, she's still got the increased damage, it looks like. I don't think I can do anything else with what I've got. I still am not sure what I use the cogs for. Um, But it doesn't look like I have an option for anything else because I'm still using that makeshift weapon for her. She still has a little damage. I don't think I have any healing things. But that's okay. Everybody else is fine. All right. Here they come. We got this. No sweat. Violent scav party. Okay. Some monsters have several actions listed on their card. They take them in order and the lit up one is what they'll do next. Okay. So they're going to injure first. Okay. Um, do I want to have her sing first? Probably. I think I'm going to have her... Can she sing to herself? She can't, but she can sing to Jack. And I think my dog sees something outside. She's in the room with me, so if you hear a dog whining, she's probably looking at a dog outside. And now I think I... Oh, no, wait. I don't attack. There. I attack with Jack. Look at all those... Oh, nice. There we go. And then she can go with her adorable little spider. I like how it throws wrenches. Now she goes, oh, she's got an attack of four now. Oh, come on. Everybody's just missing. And then we've got Buster. 
Oh, Buster, why? Okay. Oh, no. He hit Andrea. Okay. So now it's... She can't sing again, right? No, she cannot. Okay. Oh, Jack. Nice job. There you go. Okay. Only three hit points left. Let's do this. Or not. It's fine, too. <laughs> Come on, little spider. You need to have better aim. Okay. Ooh, there we go. We got him. I love that she sings at people. Airship is here. Everyone up. Goodbye, new friends. Be back soon. Stop provoking them, please. Okay, so we got 100 coins. There's more to getting strong than just experience, though. I'll explain when we're sky side. Okay, so... We unlock some coins. Oh. Oh, I see. So I have a hundred. Who do I want to put more of my stuff into? Do I want to give enough to level somebody up? Do I want to spread it evenly? Honestly, I really like how Andrea plays. I think I'm going to just give everything to her. Okay. So that means she should be level two now, right? If Buster's scared, we ought to gear up. And we better learn from our failures. I've got some coins saved up to spend on some new abilities and gear. I want one of everything. Head to the store and let's buy stuff. Oh, I wonder if I was supposed to save some of that money. Oh no, I still have 500. I've got an ability and Lena does too, but let's get one for Jack and Buster. And while we're here, grab some gear blueprints for each of us too. Okay. Uh, so here's Jack. He can get retaliation, which is Good. Buy for 200. Okay. Oh, there was an option for that too, but it's the same price. So I'll worry about gear in a sec. She's already got an ability. Overwatch. Join the target's party first combat of the day. Loud flashbang ammo. Your first attack of the day applies a stun. Hmm. I think I'm going to join the target party's first combat of the day. So even if he's not in the party, he can attack? Which one do I want? I kind of like the status effect better. And then I still have 100. Gain a plus two bomb whenever you get five stacks of grab and go. Moon boots. Take no energy when escaping combat. I don't have the money for that. Let's see. Legsoskeleton. Take no penalty from your first injury. One attack for every two cards remaining. Hmm. Oh, and that's what cogs are for. Okay. One, at one attack for every two cards remaining. Now, he only has two cards. Um, let me check Lena. You and your party mate gain plus two attack for the day when in a party of two. Ooh. Minus a heart to all monsters when you join comp. Honestly, both of these are really good. Um, I think I'm going to go with this one. And then I think that's everything I can do right now. Okay. As we progress, more stock will be added to the store. It's good to check back often. Before we depart, let's head to the loadout to equip these new abilities. Okay. Hold, please. Let's do that then. Uh, equip. From here, we can also see our progress towards gaining a level in the center of the screen. We each need a combination of experience and accomplishments to level, so make sure you know your goals each time you jump. Don't forget to equip the new abilities you just purchased. Okay. So we got that for him. She has all of her abilities. And then Lena does too. And Buster has load flashbang ammo. Okay. I think that's everything I can do now then. Enough prepping. I want to punch a robot. When you're ready, hit play to jump down to the surface. Okay. 
It's time to play for keeps. On the right side of the screen, you can cycle between various options to play online. If you need backup, click find a group to match make with other players, or scroll over to create a custom game to make your own session, or click on join custom game to view a list of open game sessions. You can also replay the last tutorial mission from here if you ever need a refresher. We recommend creating a custom game and inviting your friends to join. Um, I believe dive now is just the, uh, the story mode for single player, right? Because I'm just doing solo for now. In the game lobby, all four seats must be occupied. That is, you can play with one to four players, but you must always bring four different characters. Drag characters from the middle to any seat you you occupy on the left and click ready to start. Okay. Um... Here, I'm actually going to put Andrea first. And then... Oh, I see. I get it. I get it. Okay. And then I take the last seat, and that is Buster. Okay. And then we go. They say a giant walks below. Ain't nothing but tall tales. Very, very tall tales. What do you guys think, think we'll find in Beam City? We have to get there first. I hope we find a power core. We're being paid too, so yeah, me too. Oh, so we don't get to keep it? No, what? Why would we get to keep it? Then I hope we can find a stray cat. <laughs> oh god, I love her so much. I really do. Child, if we find a cat, you aren't keeping that either. Wait, why not, Lena? Can we... I want to keep the cat. It could be a friend to my adorable little robot spider. Okay. Um, so I'm going to take Andrea. And I think I will take Lena. Oh, wait. I can keep adding people? How many people can I... Can I take all four of them? I probably only need... Wait, what am I doing? I need to scout. Okay. So I think how I want to do this is I want to put the scrapper in first because these are resources that I can't even claim until the end of the round anyway. So yeah, this might be a little bit of overkill actually for what we've got here, but that's okay. 41 cards left. Scrapper, when you draw 10, draw 10 more. It's only got two... Um, heart, so I don't think I'm going to bother with Lena's song. And then Lena goes. Ooh. No. Okay. So I think that was it. We got a couple of cards. Wait, did we? Oh, and didn't I get a robot? Don't I have to mash up a robot? Yeah, here it is. Okay. Gear. Mech masher. Components. So we got a cog. I thought I had cards to get. Maybe I wasn't paying enough attention to what cards I had because I actually don't see them here. That's okay. Um... I guess we can just keep going. Nobody's hurt. So we could just add everyone. And we got a scout ahead. Scrap. Gain 20 when you return to camp. Wait, seriously? Okay. Hmm. Why are we only going one? Oh, Buster only has a one. Okay, that's why. Maybe I shouldn't be taking Buster with me then. That might be the problem. Um, all right, let's scout ahead. This time we're going to be fighting a Crackler. Oh, no, wait. Now it says he's got a one. Wait a minute. I think 
He's a lone wolf. Oh my gosh, I need to read the character panels, y'all. I can't take him in the party with me. That's the problem. He's a lone wolf. He wants to fight on his own. Okay. So then I'm going to change things up a little bit. He's basically the opposite of Lena. So we want him to be in his in a party all by his lonesome. There we go. Okay. Now. We can fight the bot. Go, adorable little robot spider. And then Jack retaliates. How does this work? Oh, so if it hits him, he'll do damage against it. I think. Never mind, it's going to die anyway. Okay, next card, resource. So they're done. And now Jack goes. Resource and resource. Cool, he didn't actually get attacked. Okay, so that'll give us all sorts of stuff. Um, I don't think that's gonna be enough for us to make any sort of gear. Disable all heal actions on the boss. Lucky Jack's blueprints. Oh, does everybody have the same one? Oh, and then there's this one. So this is actually the one. You and your party mate gain two attack for the day when a par in a party of two. So it has to be a party of two? Okay. So before the boss fight, I'm going to need to make sure... I put that, that disable the heal on the boss thing up, but I think we still have some time. Okay. Um, so we're going to do exactly what we did last time. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. My dog, <laughs> she sees somebody outside and she's just having some FOMO. All right. Let's see. Resource. Well, actually we know that they're going to have a bunch of resources. I actually wonder if I should have separated everyone. Hmm. That might have been smarter. Okay, so now he goes. And he gets a crackler. Okay. Uh, Your first attack of the day applies stun. Oh, I don't think... I think this is a... um. Whatchamacallit? A uh, one that just kind of does it on its own. I don't have to actually click it. My, my brain's not working. Um, there. A status effect? Is that what I'm looking for? Like, you don't have to actually... Okay, I don't know if I had to actually do anything with that, but it's dead. Okay, so he's done. We still... Oh, it's the boss already. Okay, we ought to make a, PS... a PMS PCB. It'll help, promise. Should we make... We should make a what now? PMS PCB. Polarized Multishot Proton Chaos Blaster. We have more important things to dedicate resources to, child. Buster City saw a battery-powered uh, repair system on the behemoth, yeah? If we make the PMS PCB, we'll knock the power right out of it. I do love new toys. Jack's pretty cool, too. All right, so now is when I... Uh, it, this is the PMS PCB. Who, who? Who? No, wait. I don't want it on Buster. I want it on you. Okay. Uh, does it go into my is it in my inventory I don't see it or it doesn't only show oh wait a minute I gotta do a mech masher I have two mech mashers hang hold please okay got another of those and then who else had one you did Add plus one damage. Oh, it's a rusted bit. What did I do with that again? Add plus one damage to your attack card. How, how do I do this again? Like that? I don't remember. I, I did this in the... um. Oh, wait. There we go. Not sure why I gave it to Buster, though. It's okay. 
Ooh, behemoth. A battery pack, no sweat. Fire the PMS PCB. That's the name we're sticking with, huh? Oh boy. So it's disabled. Okay, cool. So now he can't heal himself. And I think we are ready to go. I'm going to start with Lena. And I'm going to have her sing to Jack. Okay. And then I think she attacks. No, nope, Jack attacks? Who attacks? She attacks. Okay. Okay. One whole damage. There we go. Okay. And then Jack. I don't think I want to brace for impact just yet. Or do I? Actually, wait. I, I do. Wait, how do I do this? Like that? Okay. And then Lena goes. Ooh, that was actually really good, Lena. Good job. All right, now it's his turn. Oh boy. Okay. And then you do that. Okay. Um She does that. She misses. Wait, did he retaliate? I hope so. Lena. This time I'm not gonna have him. I think I messed up because he doesn't have the um, extra dice anymore. <laughs> Buster, you suck. Wait, it still hit? Pardon me? Oh, I think it's because of that bit thing that he had. No! Why is everybody missing? Oh, God. Oh, this is so not good. I don't see how we're going to get this. Oh no. Um, it's going to go and we're all going to die. Cuz we're all missing. I think maybe I wasn't ready for this. Oh, wait. It was trying to heal itself. Oh, it was trying to heal itself, but it couldn't. Okay, please kill it. We're so close. Jack! Jack, please. Buster, please. Good job, Buster. Now this should hit for two, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Andrea, Andrea, it's all up to you. Please don't get a Z. Oh, thank God. We did it. Get wrecked, behemoth. I never fought something that big before. That was awesome. Well, you're in luck because here, what? Bzzzed, rawr. How many are there? Too many for today. We're not getting to Beam City on this highway. Let's re let's regroup Skyside, everyone. Okay. Objective complete. Objective complete. Objective complete. Cool. See, I was trying to give her XP before, but I'm not sure if it was working. Okay. But that damn highway is blocked by too many of those behemoths. We'll, ne we'll need to enter Beam City from the north through the dunes. Harder fights. We're not ready. 
Well, then we can go back to the waste and try to gather more resources. There should be a new stuff for us to find now that it's clearly under clergy control. If you choose adventure mode for all for your game, you'll be able to add monsters you own to the deck and increase the difficulty. The higher the difficulty, the more rewards and XP. Give it a shot. Okay, so how much money do we have? Wait a minute. This isn't where I want to be. I want to be at the store. Oh, I only have 20. Okay, so I probably can't do anything right now. I don't want any monster cards. Um... All right. Well, I think this is where I'm going to end this episode. I honestly, I really like this game. Um, now, this coming week, I am going to actually be playing a lot of Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town because that is coming out and I have been dying to play it. So I'll be doing a lot of that. But I definitely plan on doing more content of this game at some point because I really am enjoying it. I'd like to post a few more episodes of it just to kind of see where the story goes. Um, but I think aside from... Pioneers of Olive Town, I also really want to finish up Chrono Trigger before I add anything new to my plate. So once I get both of those things accomplished, then we will see more of Waste Knots. I'm really excited to see how this game goes throughout the development process. Um, honestly, Raspberry Games has done a really good job. And uh, yeah, totally love it. Definitely go check out the Kickstarter, which is live on March 23rd, not 21st, 23rd. And um, yeah, again, thank you to Raspberry Games for the key for this game. I really enjoyed it and I can't wait to see more. And don't forget, you all can follow me on Twitch where I stream twice a week. I'm going to be mostly playing, like I said, Pioneers of Olive Town for a while. Um, you can also follow me on Twitter, join the Discord. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.